Hearing a plea seeking an end to bulldozer justice prevalent in several states, the Supreme Court today came down heavily on governments implementing it. It questioned how a house can be demolished just because it belongs to an accused or even a convict in a criminal case. The court also proposed a set of pan-India guidelines to be followed before demolishing homes. Addressing the bench of Justice B.R. Gawai and Justice K.V. Vishwanathan, Solicitor General of India Tushar Mehta submitted that no immovable property cannot be demolished just because the accused is involved in a criminal offence. Justice Gawai asked how demolition can be carried out just because an accused or convict stays there. Justice Gawai said, and I quote, If you are accepting this, then we will issue guidelines based on this. How can demolition be just because he is an accused or even a convict? If construction is unauthorized, fine. There has to be some streamlining. We lay down a procedure. You are saying demolition only a violation of municipal laws. There is a need for guidelines. It needs to be documented. Justice Vishwanathan asked why directions cannot be passed to avoid such cases. He said, and I quote, First issue notice, give time to answer, time to seek legal remedies, and then demolition. The bench led by Justice B.R. Gawai heard the plea filed by Jamayat Ulama A. Hind over the government's permission to run bulldozers on the houses of accused in criminal cases. The petition cited recent incidents of running bulldozers in Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan and alleged that minority communities were being targeted in bulldozer action. The plea alleged that to run a cycle of oppression against the marginalized people in society, especially the minorities, and to intimidate them, the state governments were encouraging the running of bulldozers on their houses and properties. The Supreme Court's hearing comes weeks after officials in Udaipur demolished an illegally constructed house of a class 10 student accused of stabbing a classmate, sparking minor clashes between locals and police.